What's up everyone, it's Matthew here from Midland Pictures. Today we're gonna to do a little tutorial on how to use Chronosync to do a mirrored backup of your main online storage and how to schedule a backup for every night when you're sound asleep so that you know that your media is backing up on a daily basis. All right, so we're gonna launch Chronosync and get a new synchronizer task opened. We've got one here pretty simple let's drag it to the middle you can just hit cancel on this because it's not really that big of a deal to name it uh, at this point so again we want to create a mirrored backup of our main storage to our backup storage you're looking at two drives you want one drive to be where all of your media is stored and you want the second drive to be your backup of that drive and you want that backup to happen at least on a daily basis so for this example we're gonna go ahead and choose my main storage which is my Pegasus R8 that has 21 terabytes at RAID 5. It's a total of 24 terabytes of storage. And then we're going to choose the backup, and it's the Pegasus R4 here. So that's pretty simple. We've got both of them selected, and now we can move on to choosing the type of backup that we want to do. Now for this, we want to do a mirrored backup that goes left to right. Left for the Pegasus R8, our main online storage, to the right, the Pegasus R4 12 terabytes, which is gonna be the backup of our main storage. We're doing a mirrored backup. You can see there's all these options. We're doing a mirrored backup because we want the contents of this drive to be mirrored here. And that comes in handy, especially if on this drive you were to delete something and want that deletion to be reflected on this side. This sink is going to delete anything that you delete over here over on this side. That may sound scary, but it's actually incredibly useful because it helps you, without having to do much work, maintain your storage and maintain your free space on your backup drive. So what we want to do to tell it to do that is choose Synchronize Deletions, and then you have a couple of options here. You can archive them if you're particularly high with data anxiety this is a good option if you're medium about your data anxiety you could always choose to move it to the trash and then examine what was deleted at a later time if you're a space saver like me and you don't really want to have to deal with that extra step after you've done a sync so if you're like me and you're super confident in your workflow you don't necessarily feel like you want that extra step of having to check the trash or check an archive so i usually choose to delete immediately during the sync and this means that as the backup drive is being synced to it's freeing up space as it sees what's been deleted off of your main drive now because i work with final cut pro 10 the final cut pro library file is a special type of file it's called a package and it contains media inside of it and files all kinds of information about the project that Chronosync needs to look inside of in order to sync it to the backup drive so i choose options over here and then I go into the special file and folder handling section and choose custom. I turn smart scan off and then I go from merge to dissect. This is package handling here and I want it to dissect that package which basically means it's going to open it up and look inside at all the files and synchronize them to the same file over on the backup drive. And really that's all that it takes to set up a backup in Chronosync. Now this is going to allow you to back it up one time if you were to hit the synchronize button here, but we want it to do a scheduled backup every night, late at night, 1.30 in the morning, two o'clock, three in the morning, in order for it to perform this operation every single night while we're asleep. So to get ready to schedule this, we're gonna to wanna to save the synchronizer task. So we'll go up to file, save, or hit command S and I'm gonna call this R8 to R4 daily. And we're gonna save this to the desktop and hit save. Now you see here, now we have this option to add to a schedule. So we'll go ahead and click there. And then this is where we can tell it how to schedule this backup, but we can choose hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. Now something you wanna be careful of when you're choosing something like hourly is it can get a little tricky if you're actually working with the files that you want to sync. I would really caution you, like if you're editing in Final Cut, Premiere Pro, whatever, and you want Chronosync to be doing hourly backups of your drive, because you're working off of that drive and you're changing the files, if you are changing the files during a sync, 
I worry that your files are at risk of either becoming corrupted or damaged or not synced properly. For me, I think the hourly option is more for storage that is connected to the computer but maybe it's storing media or something that you're not accessing all day long. So I choose a daily backup and then here you can choose the time. Let's say you want to do 2 a.m. every single day. You can hit add and then have this be added to your scheduled tasks. Something else that's important to keep in mind is in order for this to work properly, you have to make it so that your computer does not go to sleep. So something that you might want to do is to check your system preferences and check the uh, energy savings section. Uh, there we go and you can uncheck put hard disk to sleep when possible. I don't have my computer ever go to sleep because I'm always doing backups every day and I don't like waiting for my computer to start back up after sleep. It's a Mac Pro. These things are built to be on 24-7 so I just leave it that way. All right so let's just open up Safari and check out what we need to check out here. Chronosync and this will take you to uh, econtechnologies.com, which is the company that has Chronosync. And you can try it for free or you can buy it. It's $50 for the app, which is great. I would hands down buy this now if you're having any issues with syncing or keeping your backups, uh, managing your data. It's really great to be able to do this task for as simple as $50. There's regular updates to the app as well. And I've never really had to contact Econ Technologies. I've been using this app for well over 10 years and it has never had any issues. I've never had any problems with it. So Chronosync, you guys definitely need to check out this app if you're not regularly doing backups of all of your work. I would highly recommend it. Super fast, super efficient, super affordable, uh, a really an all around great option. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I really wanted to get a tutorial out there as part of what we do on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you can get notified every time we upload a video. If you like this tutorial or want to see more, definitely drop us a comment down below and let us know what kind of tutorials you'd be interested in knowing about, whether it's Final Cut Pro 10, other apps that we use in our workflow, whatever you think uh, might be helpful to you. And if we use it, we'll maybe do a tutorial about it. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. And until the next video, I will see you soon. Yeah.